Good morning, guys. Well, about that, well, I'm Dumaga. And just plain old good morning here from Texas. Lord just got in the Philippines, wishing we were in the Philippines. But uh, it's all good. Welcome you new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And the thumbs up there. Hold on one second. Oh, maybe that's a little better. The glares of my glasses, you guys can't see my eyeballs. Anyways, um, age gap relationship. We've talked about this before. Um, let's talk about problems and difficulties with age gap relationships and the things you may encounter when you're um, discussing things with your your Asawa, your wife. Asawa is what they call them in the, in the Philippines. But um, things that come up with my wife and myself right now, uh, little things like she wants me to be able to enjoy my retirement and get more rest, uh, certain things like that. And um, yeah, it, it can be hard sometimes, especially if you have two little kids like me. But um, you know, you also, you do what you gotta do, you step up to the plate and and do what you need to for your family. Um, there's times when I wanna be sitting back doing nothing, but I can't do that. And be sitting on an island with some white sand beaches. Or staring at the mountains of Bukidnan saying, wow, this is just amazing. Well, I'm staring at the plains of Texas now and there's nothing but cows. <laughs> That's not true. It's a good place. But um, yeah, things come up. Like my wife will fuss a little bit. Last night we were talking about it. Um, and what she'd like me to be able to do. And she's upset that, you know, she says I'm waiting for her all day. Because she's at work, it's eight hours. Because whatever keeps me going. It can be tough sometimes. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. And with my wife, I want her to continue her career. She's uh, just called me, she wants to, she decided on the CNA course. She's really good with patients, older people. So I'm like, well, do what you can do, do what you wanna do. You can accomplish anything. I mean, I was in that situation too, and I didn't even have my high school diploma. I wound up being in materials management in the hospital. And, um, Take the course, it's only a few hundred dollars. Get that certificate, it changes your pay grade. If any of you guys think about going to school, go for a certificate or whatever, uh, associates. It changes your pay, like, amazing, it's really good. But um, pushing her to do that and not worry about me, I'll be fine. And uh, like I said, it's difficult trying to get a helper here. It's too expensive and childcare is ridiculous. As long as I'm able to, my little baby girl will beat us. My son started school today. Congratulations to him. He likes it. He's an amazing little boy. So, yeah, it's just, you know, she's so worried about me, my, the way I'm But when you enter into an age gap relationship, you gotta remember that whichever one of you is older, one of you may be, not be around as long as the other one. <laughs> But you do what you need to do so they don't have to worry about you. And when you do move on, you know, she's always worried about being poor like she was brought up in a poor atmosphere. She has an aunt, and I mentioned this before in another vlog, who was actually in the States, retired, went back to the Philippines, kept sending her money home to her daughters. Her daughters spent thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars. She got back to the Philippines to find out she had nothing. Just what she had in her pocket, she was able to build a small house with that. And now she's struggling with a serious, serious store that barely gets any business. And then you have to stock the store. It's not easy. And when you live in the province, people are always gonna, can I pay tomorrow type stuff, you know, you're not really making much money. 
But um, she doesn't want to be like her aunts who struggle. She has another aunt, similar situation. People fighting over stuff all the time. Her family's tough, you know. She didn't want to be like that. I said, well, stay here. Take my advice. Work. Get your career. We'll be fine. We come back from the Philippines next year. We'll um, talk. We've talked about and considering uh, purchasing uh, like a trailer or something, maybe. I never lived in a trailer. To me, I look at them and I, and I always think they're going to blow away, but I don't know nothing about it. I'm from the East Coast. We had basements there. Here, there's no basements. You know, that's just the way it is. Something to do with the water level. I, I don't know. And, uh, you know, I would never move back to the East Coast. Too much snow. I want mean, to drive snow. on my family see snow. I drive freaking North Texas, Colorado, Utah, something like that. Right up the street. When you start taking a trip in Texas... Are we there yet? No. Texas is huge. You know? But, um, yeah, that was it. I mean, age gap relationship has its difficulties when you start thinking of your future, how long you're going to be around. I, you know, I pray I'll be around for another 20 years or so. My kids grow up. But enjoy your life now. Start living. That's all. If you guys made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. And please give this this channel, uh, this video, a like. It helps out the our channel. It pushes out the algorithms, things, our content's being pushed out by YouTube at the moment. I got eighty six percent of people not subscribed watch this channel. So subscribe, guys. It, it really helps out too. That's it. It's time to wake my other door and enjoy this coffee. And uh, do some editing. You guys have a blessed week tomorrow or something. And think about it. When you do get in these relationships, and it's a great thing. I'm blessed to have Jessica. Peace out.